now we are going to give a few important results on the conditional expectation. Some important results on conditional expectation. First important result uh, expectation of x given the random variable takes a value small y is the value of the random variable expectation of x given capital Y. So, sometimes we write uh, this in the form of uh, expectation of x given small y. Either we write like this or uh, we write expectation of x given small y that is a value of the random variable expectation x given y. The second result the expectation of uh, <coughs> x given small y is always going to be greater than or equal to 0 whenever the random variable is going to be greater than or equal to 0. That means, uh, whenever the random variable takes a value is greater than or equal to 0 or the probability of uh, x greater than or equal to 0 is 1. In that case, uh, the expectation of the conditional expectation of x given uh, other random variable is also going to be greater than or equal to 0. The third result, if you compute uh, some constant given the other random variable that is always going to be 1. Next one. If two random variables are independent, if two random variables are independent, then the conditional expectation is same as the expectation of that random variable, because these two random variables are independent, we can prove it we can prove it uh, by considering both the random variables are uh, discrete, both the random variables are continuous, you can easily prove it. That means, uh, that is suppose I consider both the random variables are of the continuous type, that means uh, expectation of x given y, that is nothing but uh, minus infinity to infinity x times conditional is same as joint divided by marginal. Again, since these two random variables are independent, I can rewrite the product of marginal and it cancels out. So, you will get a minus infinity to infinity x times the probability density function of x that you know that is same as expectation of x. Here I have considered both the random variables are continuous type random variables. Even if you consider both the random variables are of the discrete type again you can prove it in the same way. So, if two random variables are independent, then the conditional expectation is same as the original expectation. Next result, suppose you go for finding the conditional expectation of some constant times a x plus 
p times y with the other random variable z takes a value small that means now I am considering three random variables x y z. So, expectation of some constant times one random variable plus constant times another random variable given the third random variable takes some value that is same as constant is out. So, expectation of x given the random variable takes a value z plus constant is out the conditional expectation of y given z takes a value z. So, this is true for uh, all a and b both are real. This also can be proved. The sixth property I said uh, expectation of uh, x given small y is a value of the random variable. Therefore, you can go for finding expectation of expectation of x given capital Y. Expectation of x given capital Y that is a random variable. We are finding the expectation for the conditional expectation. That means, uh, you can prove it you can prove it for considering both the random variables are discrete and continuous. So, let us prove it then we will write down what is the answer. So, the left hand side is going to be minus infinity to infinity by considering both the random variables are of the continuous type that is expectation of x given this value multiplied by the probability density function of y by using the definition of a conditional expectation we can expand. So, the outer one is a minus infinity to infinity f y dy. Now, I am just expanding what is the conditional expectation of x given y that is nothing but minus infinity to infinity x times the conditional probability density function of So, this is inner integration and uh, outer integration is minus infinity to infinity f of y dy that is same as now I can expand now I can expand uh, the conditional probability density function that is nothing but minus infinity to infinity minus infinity to infinity x times the joint probability density function divided by marginal probability density function and I can rearrange the probability density function d x d y. So, I can cancel these two and also I can use uh, minus infinity to infinity x times. Uh, so, I can take it out minus infinity to infinity x integration of minus infinity to infinity f of x comma y x comma y dy is nothing but uh, the probability density function of x minus infinity to infinity integration joint probability density function with respect to dy that is nothing but the probability density function of x then dx that is a since minus infinity to infinity probability joint probability density function of uh, x and y with respect to y that is going to be probability density function of x. So, this is nothing but expectation of x provided it exists. That means, the expectation of expectation of x given y is nothing but expectation of x. This is a very important result. The left hand side involves the random variable y whereas, the right hand side is free from the random variable y. That means, 
if you want to compute the expectation of x, we can always find another random variable. For that random variable, you find out the conditional expectation of x with respect to the sort of dummy random variable. After finding the conditional expectation, you find out the expectation of that conditional expectation that is going to be the expectation of x. That means, you can choose any random variable y as long as uh, the conditional expectation you can able to compute, then find out the expectation of conditional expectation is going to be the original expectation. So, this is a very important result uh, whenever it is very difficult to find out the expectation of one random variable, but you can always uh, relate that random variable with another random variable then compute the conditional expectation. If that process is easy comparing to finding the expectation of the random variable then you can use this result and find out the expectation of the random variable x that is same as expectation of conditional expectation x given y. So, we are going to use this property to compute the expectation for a random sum. If you recall, we have discussed the random sum long back that is we have used S suffix n as a random sum as a sum of n random variables, where n is a discrete type random variable, n is a discrete type in particular it is a positive integer valued random variable. So, if you want to find out the expectation of S n that is nothing but uh, expectation of expectation of uh, s n given n. That means, uh, first you fix the value of capital N, then find out the conditional expectation, then compute the expectation for that. That is nothing but, since we made the uh, in the random sum problem, we made the assumption of uh, x i s are independent mutually, x i s are uh, i a d random variables, x i s are i a d random variables as well as uh, n and x i s are independent. Therefore, you can uh, compute uh, that is equal to expectation of n multiplied by expectation of x 1. All are i a d random variable therefore, uh, any one random variable expectation of x multiplied by the expectation of n that is going to be the expectation of the random sum. We have already discussed the random sum uh, much earlier. Now, in that time we have discussed only the distribution of the random sum. Now, we are discussing the expectation of the random sum that is same as uh, expectation of n multiplied by the expectation of uh, x 1 since all the x i's are independent random variable. This is called uh, Wall's equation. Using the earlier uh, property, we can find out the expectation of the random sum is the product of expectation of E n with the expectation of x 1. The next property, property number 6, expectation of, so this can be extended uh, for a function of random variable, expectation of h of x also can be computed in the same way expectation of conditional expectation of h of x given the random variable y. As long as uh, h is a Borel measurable function, therefore, uh, h of x is a random variable. So, the expectation of h of x is same as expectation of conditional expectation of h of x given y. That means, we are extending uh, the previous result with the function of random variable. The seventh result expectation of uh, x times uh, h of y given y. That 
that is same as h of y expectation of x given y. x multiplied by h of y given y takes a value small y that is same as h of y into conditional expectation of x given uh, y takes a value small y. That means, uh, when you made it uh, given y takes a value small y, the h of y no more random variable, y is a random variable, h of y is a function of a random variable where h is a Born measurable function therefore, h of y is a random variable. So, when y takes a value small y, h of capital Y is no more random it is going to be treated as a constant. So, constant is out while computing the expectation. So, h of y times the conditional expectation. There are some more properties uh, with the conditional expectation that is with respect to the sigma field and so on. So, for this course uh, we uh, stop it uh, with the this many results. Now, we will go for the next topic is called a conditional variance. The way we discuss the conditional distribution first then conditional expectation. So, now we are going to define the conditional variance that is nothing but variance of we are going to define a conditional variance as the variance of x given the other random variable takes a value small y that is same as it is similar to the variance formula, but now it is a conditional variance that is same as expectation of x square given y takes a value small y minus the conditional expectation of x given small y the whole square. When you compute the variance of x uh, that is expectation of x square minus expectation of x whole square the same way one can define the conditional variance uh, as a variance of x given y takes a value y that is nothing but the expectation of x square given y takes a value y minus conditional expectation of x given y. We have already given the result for conditional expectation of h of x. So, now we are going to find out the the variance of uh, the random variable x using the conditional uh, expectation and the conditional variance that is a uh, variance of conditional expectation plus uh, expectation of uh, the conditional uh, variance provided the second order moment that is finite. So, the way we are finding the expectation of x using the conditional expectation, one can find the variance of x also in terms of the conditional expectation and the conditional variance. That means, for any random variable variance of x can be computed by finding the conditional expectation and the conditional variance first, then apply the variance and the expectation in the vice versa, then summation becomes the variance of x. We are going to use this result to compute the variance of a random sum, that is a random sum is a defined sum of uh, i a d random variable and n is a discrete type positive integer random variable which is independent of x size. So, we have already got it uh, the expectation of uh, s n that is uh, expectation of n multiplied by expectation of uh, x 1. Now, we are going to find out uh, variance of the random sum using the previous result uh, that is going to be expectation of variance of uh, 
the conditional expectation of phi s n given n takes a value small n plus the expectation of uh, the conditional variance of uh, E s n given n takes a value n. So, one can find uh, the variance of random sum using the conditional expectation and the conditional variance uh, computing the expectation for the conditional variance and uh, variance for the conditional expectation that some quantity is going to be the variance of random sum. We have already the results for we have already the results for uh, variance of uh, expectation of S n given n takes a value n that is nothing but uh, the variance of the expectation of S n given n takes a value n that is nothing but uh, expectation of uh, finite n random variables expectation that is nothing but uh, n times the expectation of x 1. Since they are identical you can make it uh, n times expectation of n that is same as that is same as since you are going for variance of n expectation of x 1 expectation of x 1 you have to treat it as a constant. So, when you are computing the variance of uh, n, n is a random variable here and this is a constant therefore, expectation of x 1 that holds square multiplied by variance of n. Okay. So, this is a one quantity for a variance of conditional expectation. So, we got uh, variance of expectation now you have to go for uh, conditional uh, variance then you have to go for expectation. So, first we have to find out uh, variance of uh, the conditional S n that is going to be when n is fixed. Uh, so, you are trying to find out the variance of uh, finite n x size that means, uh, all are uh, independent random variable therefore, it is going to be n times uh, variance of x 1. Therefore, the expectation of conditional uh, variance. So, that is same as expectation of n variance of x 1. Variance of x 1 is a constant. So, constant is out. So, that is variance of x 1 expectation of n. Therefore, adding both the quantities adding both the quantities variance of s n is going to be the earlier answer is uh, it is expectation of uh, x 1 square variance of n into variance of n plus uh, the second quantity is uh, variance of uh, x 1 times expectation of n. So, this is going to be the variance of the random sum. So, once you know the distribution of uh, x size and uh, distribution of n, one can find the distribution of random sum. And if you know the mean and variance of uh, x size and n, you can find out the mean and variance of the random sum also. Thank you.